Well, uh, if you, uh, it seems to me that if I were a lawyer, I would love that wording because it's bound to lead to legal, to, uh, legal cases about the meaning of it. I think uh, you need to look at laws in other jurisdictions uh, about foreign funding to see how they've defined it. Uh, and I know there's been, uh, uh, it may be worth looking at Britain and one or two other countries uh, to look at what you mean by a connection. Thank you so much. Senator Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm back, Doctor. Um, the, in the opening remarks uh, from Senator Fromm, she mentioned the figure it, it, with regard to the Newfeld report, which you said you, you're familiar with. She mentioned the figure of 165,000 165, cases, and that was she was talking about voting and so on. I think I want to make it clear on the record that Mr. Newfeld, in his report, says those cases were due to systemic errors made by election officials. He did not say they were caused by voting or anything else. So I don't want any innuendo here. I don't want you to think that those were voting errors. Okay, they were errors made by officials, not by citizens. Uh, so I think it's important that you should consider that uh, because I'm going to, uh, you know, here we are in this legislation talking about ridding ourselves of the voting process, which I don't know that we can do given our uh, constitution. But beyond that, we're not taking that same robust approach toward robocalls and the proven fraud that they have resulted in. So I want to know if you have looked at, you, you say you're not familiar with the robocall system. Maybe you could look at what's happened in Canada in that regard and consider the provisions of this legislation which do not give power to compel to give evidence. They only keep records for you and they don't keep track of the people who are being called, they don't keep their phone numbers. Would it be okay or appropriate to ask you to look at this issue and that legislation and file a written opinion with our clerk? It's very, this is very important. I mean, to me, the robocalls, the whole thing of suppressing and misdirecting people is so repugnant to our democratic system. As you mentioned earlier, people, we fought wars over this. We've got Canadians buried in countries all over the world who fought for this. And now we're putting in a system, it's in place and we're not removing it. And it's upsetting to me and I think it's repugnant to our whole system and I'd like you to take a look at that. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, what can I say? If you've uh, asked, uh, then I will uh, try and, uh, and do that. I'm not sure uh, what my onward status is in a Canadian legislative process. I can certainly do my best and, and will, uh, will try, uh, but given the fact that I'm, uh, you, you know, I'm an, an outside uh, individual scholar, uh, I can do that. What I can say uh, right away, though, is that, uh, that in all of these cases, the more everybody can be satisfied uh, on both sides of, of the political aisle that, uh, that things are technically valid and that they are uh, even-handed, then the better the system will be. Agreed. I mean, clearly there is a great advantage for the political system uh, for everybody to try and, uh, and talk in a technical way uh, and to l lower the temperature uh, and to look and see if they can find a technically robust and fair way that satisfies everybody. Because the more everybody is satisfied, the better the system and the faith of the system will work. And so certainly, if it turns out that, uh, that the system is biased one way or the other, uh, then people will be 
dissatisfied and a governing party will find that its legislation is overturned by the next government and so you, 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 it's, it's not a good situation. Uh, I can't comment on the details until I've looked at it though yes. and I'm happy to do that. Well, I, I agree with your comments and, um, uh, and I, I don't know how the discussions could take place uh, unless there's a spirit of cooperation and moving toward amending uh, some of these uh, provisions or uh, making them more robust so that they make our system better, which to me is the bottom line here. So, uh, you know, everybody is more than open to discussion, but we've got to know that uh, uh, ideas aimed at bettering the system will be positively received. We'll move on to Senator Batters. I have a supplemental just on this particular point dealing with the robocalling. Um, and if you're going to be looking at that, sir, I would suggest that you also look at um, the House of Commons Procedure and House Affairs Committee. We sometimes refer to it as the PROC Committee from March 25, 2014. This is when um, Jean-Pierre Kingsley, who was the um, um, Chief of Elections Canada for many years testified before that committee and uh, in questioning about that Tom Lukiski, a member of Parliament from my home province of Saskatchewan um, indicated uh, at page 5 of the transcript I have finally I'll just move to a different element of the bill very quickly to the changes we have in the bill to try to prevent the problems we saw with robocalling and the Pierre Poutine example in the last election could you comment briefly on why the changes we are proposing in this bill would help prevent those types of situations from occurring again in the future? And Mr. Jean-Pierre Kingsley responded, the bill will require that people who offer the services that are called robocall services or automated calls must register with the CRTC and they must file their names. People who retain their services must also be known and the messages must be kept under the present bill for one year. He went on to state a couple of other particulars. And then Mr. Lukiski went on to question, in your opinion then, directing this again to Mr. Kingsley, would the changes we are proposing ultimately help prevent the same Pierre Poutine situation we saw in the last federal election? And Mr. Kingsley responded, yes, they would. So um, in your review of that issue, um, I think that would be helpful for you to see as well, given that uh, um, Mr. Kingsley's vast experience with uh, the electoral system in Canada. Thank you. All right. Well, that uh, concludes the uh, questions. And, uh, Doctor, we want to thank you uh, for being so generous with your time and your very helpful contribution to the uh, committee's uh, deliberations. Thank you from all of the members here today. Very much appreciated. Thank you. It's a privilege for me. And uh, good luck with your deliberations. Okay. We will now uh, break for... Uh, uh, something like an hour and a half, I think. We will return at 2 p.m. to continue our deliberations.